When we were filming in Monaco, we came across a number of different Ferrari F12s, stock and aftermarket. We're going to compare them against one another in terms of looks and the sound they made. With one here at Ellie Muscle, we already know how good it sounds. And with 730 horsepower, it definitely isn't slow. We start things off with this satin blue F12 with an Army Trix exhaust. You'll notice it sounds a bit different to a standard F12. It definitely drew quite a crowd and a lot of attention. This is a Ferrari F12 in Lago modified by Novatech, a German performance and tuning company. This car is actually the very first in Lago made. It's been given a more aggressive body kit, new set of wheels, power is up to 770 horsepower, and an exhaust that gives it a pretty aggressive sound. These F12 in Lagos are actually much rarer than top of the range F12 CDFs, which we come on to next. The F12 TDF slots just underneath the LaFerrari in terms of performance. With 769 horsepower from the V12. Only 799 units will be produced. TDF in F12 TDF stands for Tour de France which is homage to the races held between 1899 and 1986 in which Ferrari competed. They are obviously completely stocked, but are much more aggressive looking than the standard F12. And finally we come onto these pair of F12s. They are called the F2X Longtails and are made by Onyx Concept. They are limited with only 30 to be made. The reason they sound so good is because they're fitted with a full IPE exhaust system. So which F12 do you prefer? The crazy satin blue one with a full army trick exhaust? The Novatec Rosso F12 and Lago? The most expensive F12, the F12 TDF? The Onyx Concept F2X Longtail F12 with their crazy design? or simply how it came out the factory. <laughs>